Welcome to the Electricity of Life, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. Here is some footage of a tadpole embryo from Tufts University's Levin Lab for Regenerative Medicine. Electrical gradients have been made visible, and we can see that they precede the development of features of the tadpole's face and body. The relevance of electric frontiers in biology is no small matter. Planaria regenerate their tail end into a second head. Tadpoles bioelectrically modified to grow additional eyes, genetically altered so that a particular frequency of blue light would stimulate ion regulators in their cell walls. This allowed electric gradients in their body to be precisely changed, to match the electrical characteristics that cue the body to grow all the tissues required for an eye. This is the leading edge of knowledge in the science of how life forms on Earth use electricity to shape or instruct the tissues of their body. The significance of these bioelectric principles can be understood from fellow scientists who have been amazed by their implications. Some animals are known for the regeneration of whole appendages. The scientists who come to take part in explorations at the Levin Lab use experiments and computer modeling to learn what conditions are needed for natural regeneration. Their experiments touch on several paths for future medicine, all informed by how a body's infrastructure of bioelectricity makes executive decisions. Change the voltage exerted upon cell membranes and you can modify genetic expression in the cell, so that a group of cells carry out a very different plan of growth. Electrical managing forces inform cell development and response to injury as a holistic system of physiological decision-making integrated with the body's biochemical and genetic instructions. A couple years ago, the Levin Lab showed that tumor-type abnormal growth administered to developing tadpoles could be remissed with a 30% success rate by way of changing cellular electrical behavior. Back then, this was once again entailed by genetically altering the organisms to have light-controllable cell membrane potential. In the beginning of their abstract, they noted, it has long been known that the resting potential of tumor cells is depolarized relative to their normal counterparts. Later on, the authors put forth that this bioelectric signature could be used to locate tumorous cells, and it appears to be functionally required for tumors to form, according to these experiments. This year, Dr. Michael Levin and his colleagues have discovered a practical new means of readjusting electric gradients that might soon become medicine. Prozac, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, or SSRI, was recently used to reform the electrical behavior of laboratory cancer cells specifically administered to change voltage gradients, the authors declared this work a successful proof of concept. They said that existing and novel drugs could be used as an alternative to highly toxic chemotherapy. The authors of this study redefined cancer as a network disorder affecting the ability of cells to properly interact with a morphodynamic field of instructive signals that keeps proliferation and migration orchestrated towards the anatomical needs of the host organism. In other words, a failure to communicate or regulate. Thanks for watching this episode of The Electricity of Life. Check out the other innovations and insights covered previously, and keep on the lookout for the next episode currently in the works.